Hey everybody, welcome to FO Golf Channel. Um, I'm all bundled up. This is Winter Golf. Um, today, actually, I'm doing this uh, special episode. I want to film today's lesson. I have a client, his name is um, Bern Lamb. So, um, I got his permission to film our lessons. So, um, again, this is something I don't normally do, but he says it's okay to do it. So, uh, when he gets here, and we're going to just pretend the camera is not there and uh, we're going to film our lessons and today will be his third lessons all right and um, obviously I'm going to have him introduce himself a little bit and so you get the idea you know what kind of player he is and you know how long he's been playing all of those um, personal detail all right all right Burns so have you had a chance to um, practice a little bit I have been practicing a lot in my living room okay awesome like awesome club, like this you know Yes, yeah. because which, which is something... The, yeah, the pointing is pointing in the right direction. Correct. Yeah. Something we talked about. Um, now, just so... Because the camera's rolling, I just want to make sure people tell them just a little bit. Repeat what you tell me earlier. You know, you say how many, you know, this is just brand new to you. You play golf, you know. Yeah. Um, so, to go through my one minute golf Yeah, history. just 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 one minute. Yeah, yeah so uh, played a lot of golf my late teens, early 20s. Um, never had any lessons at all, uh, rarely broke a hundred, <laughs> stopped playing for eh, 20 years. Right, right. <laughs> I really played once a year for 20 years, twice a year max. Okay. Uh, but now I'm actually like serious if I like learn the proper technique and be able to score. Good. So today is, our, I think, I believe today is our third lesson. lesson. Very good. All right. So let's revisit, let's get your club, right? Um, let's revisit what we've been talked about. So, um. The very first lesson, we kind of, I kind of give you the idea what, the way how I teach. We're talking about energy, you know, all of that. And then we did the posture and then we did the grip. grip. Yep. Okay. And then the second lesson, we went through what I call the downswing sequence. Okay. And, you know, today we're going to probably revisit that just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, before we get into it, just let me see what you're doing so far. Okay. okay, and I'm probably going to film you with my iPhone. Mm -hmm. um, usually I'll be filming with my tripod, but today the tripod is on the camera. So, gotcha. all right, go ahead and show me what okay. you have so far, right? So, this is the setup? Yeah, I love it. Great posture, very good, right? So, right here, very neutral back good engagement of your core that's perfect relax your shoulder just slightly there you go all right good so let me sh let me see you um downswing good good rotation okay excellent so that's what we have right now go ahead let's hit a ball see what happens swing through it right all right Okay, do it one more time. That's totally fine. And I'm glad you're doing that. So I actually film you is I want to talk about why you're doing that. Okay. okay. All right. So right away, a couple things stand out to me is this. One, what you tend to do, your head tend to move a little bit on the backswing. Yeah. Okay, so what I mean by that is that on the backswing, what you tend to do, your head tend to move a little bit. Okay, and also you have tendency to look at the club. Yeah. Okay, and that's totally fine. But what we want to do is I want to make sure you're understanding the reason why you're doing that is because there's some tension there on your right side. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what happens is a lot of times when you focus on something like we talked about before, when you focus on anything, chance are you will apply a lot of external force. Yeah. Okay, and on the downswing, the truth is you're actually using a lot of power. Okay, so today we're going to actually have you start hitting some balls. What I want to do is work on what I call the rhythm. Okay, so last time we talked about how on the downswing, if you lower your body correctly on the backswing, on the downswing, your sequence will be weight transfer one and then your upper torso is going to turn now while you're turning you should establish a feeling where your arms is going to propel by the rotation 
but right now as you can see you will swing it based on a lot of force so what you are doing right now is that on the downswing there's still a lot of control here now when we talk about control we mainly talk about you right now establishing a what I call a natural human instinct because what you're doing you try to attack the ball okay so today what we want to do is we want to get rid of that feeling of attacking the ball okay also come here please burn so what we want to do right now I want you to actually fix it on the 50 yard right now okay so I'm gonna do it one time I want you to do it a little bit softer before you do it obviously I'm gonna run through all the stuff we talked about right yeah. so what I mean by soft, it means I like to see you do this. Get to the top. Don't think about power. Only think about motion. Okay. Now, regardless where the ball is going, I want you to think about that motion. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit, right? And take the time. All right. Set up, please. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So, set up, please. Good. Very nice. Okay. All right. Now, relax your shoulder a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Now, let me see. Turn your hips and turn your core. Good. I can see there's tension here already. Mm -hmm. Ah, you can see right there? Yeah. Okay. So, go ahead and let go of your right arm just a little bit for me real quick. Perfect. Okay. Now go ahead, turn your hips, turn your core. Perfect. Turn your hips more. Good, right there. I right, relax that right shoulder a little bit. There we go. I right, relax that left a little bit. Uh huh. That's Perfect. Hard. Yes. <laughs> well, what happens right now? You notice how right now is your thumb right here. You don't have a lot of what I call the Y stuff mm -hmm. because you're not pressing on it, right? right? Okay. So relax a little bit. Okay. Now look at the ball for me real quick, right? Pretend there's a ball, right? Yeah. Watch this. Let me see you move your hips. Okay. Now watch this. On the downswing now, go ahead and hold your arms in. Exhale. Good. Keep turning your court. Okay. All right. So what happens right now, try to imagine yourself doing that very slowly. It's like a slow dance. Okay. Because right now when you have a ball, guess what you do? You try to attack it. Yeah. So in other words, everything's coming down so fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then really, then your energy is going to be way off. Okay. We're going to keep doing that today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, set up, please. Okay. All right. Relax a little bit. All right. Okay. Now go ahead and hover the club off the ground just about a half inch. Okay. So let me see you turn your hips and turn your body. Perfect. 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 Relax. Relax. Bingo. Real good. Okay. Now I'm going to have you relax your arms a little bit, right? Let me see you. I'm going to walk away. Go ahead and let me see you shift your hips and turn your body and throw your arms out a little bit. Good. I love what you're doing. Now, the only thing it's missing is the throwing motion. Okay. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay. So what happens right now, the hard thing about learning golf is that right now, you are controlling the club. The only control that you can only have is about connection. Okay. So what happens if I'm connected right now on the downswing? I should feel this or I should feel that which this speed is much quicker. But right now if you have a slow speed, which is what we are doing right now, what happens is on the downswing, I would love for you to feel like there's no control of this club. I would like to see you feel like you're utilizing, imagine all the muscles in your core that's producing what? Okay, if you fell over, that's okay right now. Okay, I'd like to see you continue work on a soft throw motion. Okay, let's try that. All right. Okay. Okay. Slowly. 
Right, get to the top. Good, good. Relax your right shoulder. Right. Keep turning the hips. Keep turning the hips. Perfect. Stop right there. Now go ahead and let me see you move your hips. Okay, good. Much better. So what happens right now, do that one more time, please. Okay. Hold it right there. Now go ahead and let go of your right arm completely. Good. So let me see you move your hips, shift, and turn your body. Okay. Do that one more time. Perfect. Okay, relax your right arm a little bit. Good. Okay, and turn to the top. Good job, good job. Relax, relax. Excellent. Real good. That's it. Now, in this position right now, the truth is you don't feel very powerful. Right. Yeah, because what happens, you actually, as your natural instinct tells you, you need to get to here right. to be powerful. Yeah. That's why it's so difficult for you to right now because think, wait a minute, where's my power coming from? Yeah. Right. So what happens, we're going to do that one more time. Right. Good. Perfect. So try to do that one more time. Then today we're going to we're going to introduce you a terminology is what I call lagging. Okay. Okay. Slowly. Good. Good. Excellent. 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 Relax. Okay. Go ahead. Let me see you move your hips and turn your body. Keep turning, keep turning, and let it go. Perfect. Now, you know, there's a reason why I hold you back, okay? Because you want the hips to lead. Correct. What I want you to do is I want your lower body and your torso the rotation to lead your arms, yeah. okay? Now, the feeling of a lagging is actually very hard to describe it correctly for you because the way how you think and the way how I think actually is very different. So I'm going to try to do my best job to explain to you what is, what it, what is lagging, mm -hmm. okay? So what happens right now when you get to the top, okay? Burn, when you get to the top, because your lower body is accelerating. Your lower body is accelerating. So this acceleration and this rotation would create a, what I call the thrust, okay? So just like, come here please. Now, Remember, if you are in the car right now, if you accelerate, okay, now the car, you have engine, so if you accelerate, you pedal to the metal, and what your upper body would do is this. Yeah. Correct. It'll go back before it go forward. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, your body's going to go forward because the car just go, but what you did right there, this movement, it's called lagging. It's, it's kind of like you're absorbing the G-force, okay? So, what happened, let me show you. If you stand right here, I'm going to do two movements. You tell me which one has got more lag, which one does not. Okay. So this is movement number one. Okay. Movement number one. This is number two. Correct. Correct. Because what will happen is, as I'm going forward, because the acceleration of my body, this arms actually feel like it's kind of going back a little bit. Okay. Now they're not really going back for the sake of you going mega go back. Yeah. It's that your body, meaning your body and your arms has to work together to create that thrust. Yeah. That's the reason why it's kind of like a, you know, when you snap those towels, you go like this and snap it. And the towel actually goes into an S shape. That S shape is like a backwards movement, but then snaps forward. Yeah. Okay. So today we're gonna work on that feeling because that feeling is so important. Is because if you don't have that feeling, chance are you don't have lag. Think about it. If you drive in a car right now, if you pedal to the metal and you say I'm gonna hold on to it, your body is actually absorbing a lot of G force rather than let it happen. Okay, so in other words, on the downswing, if you don't lag, you're not letting the speed happen. It means you're not letting the speed produce a result. Does the lag happen more with the wrists or more with the elbows? Ah, very good question. Let's come here, please. So, ask that question one more time. <laughs> Does the lag happen more with the wrists or more with the elbows? Very good. So, 
what happened is your body, the way how you break down your body is this. Your lower body here is going to be what I call, I always call the engine. It's producing, producing correct energy. And your torso and your arms is like a transmission. Okay. But the lagging, what I call the lag joints, your body has five lag joints. Okay. Lag joint number one is your left shoulder, your right shoulder, your right elbow, and your right wrist, and your left wrist. Okay, so this is five spots. Now, there's no necessary like orders, they just the, the spots, or I call the joints that it's absorbing the line. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. You can come here, please. Okay, so set up, please. Pretend you have a club in your hand, right? So what happens right now, when you get to the top, relax your shoulder a little bit, right? Turn your hips and turn the body, perfect. Excellent, good job, okay? So remember earlier I talked about those five lag joints. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, right? So on the downswing, I'm gonna hold your head for now. Mm -hmm. On the downswing, once you weight transfer, all right, then go ahead and turn your body. Keep turning your body. So what I have noticed how right here, first one right here, this is called the lead on abduction. Mm -hmm. The lead arm is gonna collapse into your chest. Okay. Okay. And then this right here, because this shoulder has to be relaxed, it actually feels like it's dropping. Mm -hmm. But the reason why it's dropping is because your upper torso is turning from the core. And this right here also collapsed. And this right here, your right elbows collapse, then your right wrist is gonna fold. And then this deviation here is going to increase the deviation of your lean hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can, as you continue to turn, and then once you build up to here, all the energy that you created from this rotation is going to propel out. Yeah. Okay. So it's the, it's the, the, the hands and arms lagging behind the, the torso. Absolutely. Lagging behind the torso. Yeah. Okay. Now, when the exercise I show you at home, when you're doing with the rotation, mm -hmm. show me doing that one more time, please. Okay. All right, go ahead and do that one more time. Relax, relax. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So what's this? On the downswing, once you clear your hips and turn your body, and your upper torso has to what? Turn here. Perfect. Excellent. Really good job right there. Very nice job. Okay. So notice how right now you can feel the compression here yeah. and compression here. Mm -hmm. Hold your abs in. Exhale. Don't worry, you can blow on me. Exhale. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. That is really good right there. Mm -hmm. Now remember, in this position, if you are swinging, your arms will be thrown out here. Okay. Yep. With rotational image we talked about how well actually we haven't talked about it yet i want to talk about it a little bit more today because we talk about because we're talking about lagging your arms right on the downswing once you get to here especially your lead on on the downswing once you weight transfer mm -hmm. go ahead weight transfer and turn your body keep turning your body down see how now nah, watch this you notice how your body is actually moving sideways mm -hmm. You're moving this way. You're not turning. Weight transfer. So, I see what you're doing. That's okay. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Okay. Think about your lower body and your upper body is doing different things. Okay. Yeah. I want you to feel like you move your lower body first. Relax your shoulder. Good. Move your lower body. Perfect. Love that. So you notice how right now you did only your lower body. Yeah. So your upper torso is going to turn this way. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the difference, right? Okay. This is very crucial right now. Today, actually... We're going to talk about lagging, we'll definitely talk about this more. Because last time, we talked about a little bit, but it doesn't feel like you're, you're not getting it that well yet. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about this a little bit. 
remember on the downswing, if you set up like this, here's a backswing. On the downswing, your lower body and your upper body is going to turn, but they're going to turn because remember, we talked about there's got to be a sequence. So your lower body is going to do this. Okay. So what happens right now, because you have a lot of tension, so what burns doing, uh, you tend to do this. So look at what this stick is pointing at, your club's pointing at. Look at that. It's pointing over here. If you do it correctly, you weight transfer and you would turn your entire upper torso like this. Exactly. But what happened is, remember, this end and this end is making an exchange. Okay? See right here? Right here. Okay, so I'm going to have you do that a little bit more, a couple times, right? And take your time. Okay. So the idea is go ahead and try to relax your shoulder a little bit more, right? Show me your golf posture. Okay. So what we're working on is what I call the separation, right? And go ahead and turn to the top. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. So what's this? I would love for you to feel like this club and that, this end and this end is making an exchange, mm -hmm. but with separation. Okay. Go ahead and move your lower body first. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Now go ahead and turn your upper body down. Good. Keep turning. 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 Beautiful. Boom. That was it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's that lower body start. Correct. Well, what happened? That's the reason why you 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 got it. The lower body has to clear out the weight right. first. Yeah. So that way you have room on top to turn down. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, while you're turning down, this momentum of a rotation is going to thrust. It's going to propel your yeah. arms, and your arms you have to allow your arms to lag it. Right? I want to do a couple more times. Okay? You take your time with it. And get to the top. Perfect, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Good job. Love that. Clear your hips first. Clear your hips first. Only your hips first. Good. Turn your hips now. Keep turning. Now make that separation rotation. Relax your shoulders. Boom. Perfect. Really good. Yeah. Okay? Now it's difficult, right? Of course. <laughs> It's slow motion. It's like, yeah, it's no problem. Right. So this is all I want you to do right now without the club now. Okay. Yeah. We're going to let go of the club because the reason why I don't want you to have a club right now is try to minimize some tension in your shoulders. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that a couple more times. Okay. okay. All I want you to do is actually put your arms out there. Just mm -hmm. let it free fall a little bit. Okay. okay. Now go ahead and go to the top. Back swing. Yeah, don't even worry about your arms right now. Perfect. Okay. Now on the down swing, go ahead. Weight transfer. Perfect. Weight transfer, good. Now turn your body down. Perfect. Keep turning, keep turning. Beautiful. Excellent. Look at that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So, in the long run, right now, believe me now, right now, your muscles from here to here, here to here is very tight. Mm -hmm. They're not lubricating enough. Right. Okay, yeah. so those are the things that you have to start to work on right now. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I want you to do right now. I want you to hold this club. Okay, go and do a couple times very slowly. Only think about the number one and the number two movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever happened, don't don't think about the lag right now. Okay, and take your time with it. Get to the top. Love that. Love that. All right, do it slowly. Relax your arms. Shift first. Shift first. Now turn your body down. Keep turning. Keep turning. Perfect. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay. Now remember, right now, you, my friend, are propelling that motion externally. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean when I say externally? Yeah, not, not via my arms. Correct. Shoulders. Yeah. You're, you're doing it from here. Right. In the long run, you will do it from here. Yeah. That would be the goal, right. okay? Because that's exactly what you would do. You say, "Well, I'm gonna turn." That's the reason why I'm, sometimes when I teach golf, there's certain words I really don't want to say it, like down, yeah. 
or turn your shoulders because that would just promote ideas well okay I'm turning my shoulders right, right because that way you actually start pushing externally yeah. okay try that one time all right really, really good posture right now okay take to the top relax your shoulder a little bit relax good keep turning keep turning hips perfect excellent beautiful step down a little bit there you go okay relax relax uh -huh. right there good okay now let me see weight transfer first weight transfer go ahead and turn your body down keep turning keep turning keep turning keep turning keep turning squeeze it squeeze your core yep <laughs> the squeezing of the core is going to be difficult yeah. all right so what's this right now if I say burn go ahead and hold the club in the air like this okay all right so set up please, right? Okay, good. Now go ahead and put the club out here. Perfect. And relax your shoulders. Okay. Relax your shoulders. There you go. Okay. So right now I don't want you to think about your hips. I want you to think about if you can have a you have a rod mm -hmm. that's going through your love handle, your yeah. obliques. Come out here. Yep. Okay. I want you to imagine. This rod right here, relax your shoulders, right? This rod right here, I would like to see you focus on just turning from here. Ah, okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna do it very slowly. Just here, right? Now turn. Good. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more times. Only imagine that. Only focus on that area. Perfect. And turn. Okay, I'm going to hold your body a little bit lower now. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want you to feel it here. Yeah. I'm going to do that one more time. Okay. Keep turning. Look at that. That's nice. And turn. Perfect. Okay. Those are the areas that you're thinking about. Yeah. Okay. So try to do that on your own a little bit, right? I'm actually going to... All right. So relax your shoulders, right? Only turn your hips and turn your court. Perfect, keep turning hips, turn the court. Okay, hold it right there. Now make sure your body weighs a little more to the right. Make, move your weight more to the right. More to the right. There you go, a little bit more. Perfect. Now step down, good job. Okay, so now on the downswing, move your hips. Perfect, and turn your body, keep turning. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. This is like antique. <laughs> this was what what this club's good for. Now it's for instructions. Okay. <laughs> it's like some pump right. right. All right. So we're gonna keep doing that a little bit. Okay. Lower your body to the right, but with the turning motion, keep it to the right. Keep it to the right. Keep it to the right. Perfect. Relax your right shoulder. Good. Excellent. And now on the downswing, clear your hips. Clear your hips first. Good. Now turn. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your core. Keep doing that. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. That was really good, by the way. Okay. So more weight on the right. Well, what happens right now, what happens right now, let me show you what I mean, right? This is very, very common. Very common. Because remember, I say that to you, when you learn golf, even though you have correct information, but as a human being, when you're focusing on correct information, you essentially will have tension. You see, I, because I, you see, I'm really focusing, I'm learning something new. Yeah. But then you have tension. So what happens when you have a lot of tension? When you turn your body, you either, some people would do what I call the sway, right? they would do this. Yes. Um, but what you're doing right now is the exact opposite. You're swinging to um, the left, so you're doing this. Okay. Yeah. Now obviously one is because right now, your legs and your core doesn't have the recognition of it just a turn. Because what I mean by that, just a turn, think about this right now. If I'm standing like this right now, now this is obviously easier because this is a two dimensional setup. So think about this right now. If I say, if burn you, I say, go ahead and turn your hips and turn your core. Look at this. I'm going to turn. As you can see, I really don't have any kind of lateral motion, side to side movement. Because you wouldn't do that, right? right. Go ahead, stand right here real quick. Right. 
And go ahead and do the same thing for me real quick. Right? Right? Go ahead and let me see you turn your body. Look at that. See, notice how your body weigh when you're turning on the backswing. Your hips are not out here. Right? Right? Okay. You, actually, you have tendency to do that a little bit too, even when you're standing. Okay? I'm going to stand behind your back. That's okay. Because naturally, if some people have tendency, what's this? Let me turn your hips. Perfect. Look at that. Good job. Alright, do that one more time, right? So what's on the downswing, what makes a difference on the downswing, this hip right here is going to clear out the way. And this is turning. Okay, I want to do it one more time. Okay, right here. Clear out the way and turn. Perfect. Now this is two-dimensional turn, right? Alright, so now let's go back to a three-dimensional parent. Right. Show me a golf posture. Okay. Neutral back, neutral back, round off a little more, perfect, okay, make sure your body weighs the middle of your shoes, perfect, alright, go ahead and see you turn your hips and turn the core, perfect, good job, excellent, perfect, good, okay, real nice, uh, relax your arms. Just tell yourself your arms are never coming down until your body's turning through the ball. I'm going to do it very slowly. Okay, now go ahead and turn your body down. Turn your body down. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of work there, right? Uh, yeah. There's, there's a lot. lot. There's a lot going into that. Yes. A lot of parts. Because what happens, the, 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 the most, the craziest part is that your body your upper torso, one, because the tension is that it's, it's very hard for you to find the feeling of this turn movement. Yeah. Because what you do is you do a, what I call the two-dimensional turn. Say so you're turning up. Yeah. You're not turning in a way how it's like that. You know, you're turning, when you're turning your body on the back swing, you're doing this. But on the down swing, you flatten out. You see, but what we want to do is if your posture is like this, if you turn, see this right here, this shoulder and this shoulder, because the rotational feeling, this is this and it's making an exchange. So you will shift and turn your body down. Beautiful. Excellent. This is really good. So it's... Bingo. You got it. See how much, how much work you have to do with here with your core? Yeah. Yes. Now, the truth is, a lot of people always ask me, is that the only way? My answer to that is yes. There's no any other way around that. Yeah. I don't see how you can... If, well, think about this, right? Now, if I'm turning like this, and if I turn back here, I say, oh, I'm going to turn back here. I'm going to turn back like this. Right. Or I'm going to turn like this. Way off plane. So I'm like, okay, you just just no other way, yeah. okay. Like that's how you want to perfect the rotation, right. okay. So you always want to put that here, right? The stick, or you can always now, now that we've been talking about this, you can start to say, okay, I'm gonna register my my shoulder line based on my core rotation. Yeah. Now I can do it. Say, like, oh, how smooth is because I my muscle sensitivity is so much higher right now okay so do a couple more times very nice slowly relax your shoulders okay turn your hips to the right try to fo focus on loading it to the right more loading to the right to the right i love that i love that i'm not worried about your arms right now so far right now go ahead Weight transfer your hips first. Hips first. See, notice how your upper body is moving, mm -hmm. right? So weight transfer first, lower body first. Lower body, good. Now drop that shoulder down because the core rotation. Keep turning, keep turning that. Bingo. Okay. Yeah, it's a very different feeling. Yes, it's it, it's extremely different. 
but that is the correct way yeah. now if you're not doing that chance are your arms are already traveling faster than your body yeah. again you can play golf that way it just it would be hard to improve because you're always what you're always changing the plane yeah. not based on your body rotation but rather manipulate the plane with your arms yeah. and that's the reason why most amateurs are, well how can i be not be you know consistent i say well you keep changing the plane every time when you swing so how can you be consistent yeah. right but also the problem with that is that you're also changing your power level and your energy level yeah. all right all right so i'm gonna be quiet for five minutes and i want you to work on this a little bit i'm gonna turn that off for now okay very good so um remember earlier we talked about lagging yeah. Because right now, it's very hard for you to relate to that movement as a power movement, okay? Because what happens right now, this is what makes golf so interesting is because your natural instinct of a power is still based on say, I want to do something that I recognize, right? So then what you do is you hold this club, you come over here, even though you say I'm working on this and turn, but because remember, we're in the stage of learning, you actually don't have correct or enough energy level to propel the arms. Then what you would tend to do is you tend to do something like this. Okay, even though it might look good, but the problem is that you are moving your arms because your natural instinct is dictating that motion, right? So if I say that to you right now, I didn't mean to, <laughs> I just grabbed that, right? So what happens is right now on the downswing, if you fully are not focusing on the contact, but you're focused on what is your energy level, okay? Even though both ball looks pretty much the same, but the idea is that if I'm swinging, I'm still using the correct energy, but it will give me much better feedback that way I can learn a little bit better. Because remember, if your energy level and your motion is never matching, and the result never matches that, and there's always a contradiction and conflict, right? But right now, it is difficult for most amateurs to understanding when you are doing that movement, your power level is very different, okay? So let's come here real quick, right? Go and try, the, try and do that just with your left arm, please. All right. Relax a little bit. Good. Excellent. Okay. All right, relax your shoulder and let me see you turn your hips. Turn your hips. Now turn your body. Allow the arms to go with it. Allow the arms to go with it. Perfect. Okay. Good. Let's do that one more time. So what I mean by allow the arms to go with it is that you allow the connection to happen, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead and turn your hips. Turn the body. Turn the hips. Allow the arms to go with it. Okay, we're we'll gonna do one more time until you feel like there is a singular motion of a turn, right? Yeah. Turn your hips, turn the body. Boom, perfect. Okay, very nice. Let's do that one more time. Okay, turn your hips, turn the core. Perfect. Excellent. You got it. Now you say, wait a minute, why is my arms up here? Remember, that turn was very slow. Yeah. Right? But if you're turning faster with connection, right? Go ahead and do that one more time. Stay connected. Turn your hips, turn the body. Perfect. So you can see that momentum is going to carry your lead arm a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you will recognize. Look at this. Look at that right now. You're not swaying to the left anymore. Okay. Yeah. This is a really important information or sort of the correct mechanical movement of the body is because you always want to recognize the rotation first not the actual movement from here where you're lifting the arms yeah. okay that was really good do that one more time now on your own right turn the hips turn the body and stay connected your arms are connected to the turn perfect now obviously a lot of people say whoa my arms are only here how am i going to swing 
So let me show you. <laughs> you can still swing. You got it. You can still swing. Look. You can still swing. Now, obviously, you say, well, the ball is not good. But that's not the point because the idea is, can you still swing? Because how you initiate the swings based on what? Connection, rotation, loading. Right? But you will always do what? This will always try to come down. Yeah. So try that one time, right? I love what you're doing. Right? Left hand only? Yep, left hand only, right? So, backswing, connection, rotation, right? Turn, perfect. All right, now downswing, shift and turn. Perfect, now turn your body. Perfect, okay, good. Now the reason why I'm holding it back is because earlier we talked about lagging. Yeah. It's because that rotation has to feel like it's dragging the arms down. Yeah. Okay, so try that one more time. Right, connection, rotation, perfect. Downswing, shift and turn. Bingo. Yes. Okay. It's extremely difficult right now to put everything together because we actually talked about two parts. Which the reason why I introduced your lag because it's we will probably have to talk about lag for a long time. Oh yeah. Okay, because yeah, that's that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's the byproduct of a correct motion. Yeah. But see. A lot of people say, how do I create lag? I say, well, if you don't have correct motion, you have no lag. Yeah. Okay. But a lot of times what people tend to do, they tend to, they tend to correct false sense of lag. But then that's not lag either. Because I always tell people, you know, when you snap the towel, yeah. you cannot create that S shape manually. Right? right? No. Think about it, if you snap the towel, that S shape is a byproduct of motion. You can't go, well, I'm going to make that happen. It can. So that's why lag is so hard. But at least the concept has to be correct. Okay. So go ahead and do that one more time. All right. So take your time with it. Core rotation, hip rotation, stay together, connect it. Perfect. Good. And go ahead and just hinge your wrist a little bit for now. Perfect. Okay. Now go ahead and downswing, shift, and turn. Squeeze your body, turn. Go ahead. Perfect. That was perfect. You got it. Get to the top. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Shift and turn. Shift and turn. Oh, I like that one. That time you actually let the slightly let the rotation took over the arms a little bit. Okay. Now go ahead and do that with two hands now. Right. Okay. Perfect. Relax your right arm a little bit. Okay, good. Allow your hips and body turn. Perfect. Now keep turning and turn through it. Good stuff. Turn. Relax your right elbow. Perfect. Now go ahead and you shift your hips and turn the body and through it. Much better. Much better. Now obviously it feels like you're not doing much. No, the, it actually feels like I'm doing a lot. Right, what I'm saying <laughs> from the differently, I correct say. from the what I mean by that, I, I probably need to rephrase it as you don't think feel like you're putting a lot of power. Yeah. Like the energy and the power is different. Yeah. Right. So that's exactly what your mind has to make that connection. Yeah, okay. Free training from up here to down here. Correct. But obviously, it's easier said than done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, you'd all be doing it. What? Well, I always help you remember, it's, it's, it, if you don't have that feeling, you'll remember the first stage is, is power, power um, struggle. I always help you, you know, you, you're going to have struggle from here and here. As you make that decision which power you want to use, you know. But again, you're still fighting with your natural instinct and behavior, how you react to a ball, not creating the proper energy. So... Good, man. Let's keep doing that. All right. So that's all I want you to do today right now. Um, like I say, we're going to talk about lag a little bit in the future. But the reason why I introduce you to that because it kind of has to 
in the back of your mind saying, okay, I'm turning my body now, I can't have my arms or not following my body. You know, it has to feel like there's a delay or a sort of that tell. Okay. But we're going to get into um, specifics. All right? So, let me see you keep doing it. <laughs> and what you can do right now, you can, what I would like to do is, um, I want you to do like two practice swing mm -hmm. and then one ball. Okay. Right? And two practice swing and one ball. And when you do have a ball, mm -hmm. you can already think about, associate, you know, make the connection between the movement to a distance. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that movement has to represent something in the distance. Yeah. Now, obviously, would you agree your movement is very slow right now? Yes. So the distance should not be too far. Right. Right? Yeah. Perfect. Good stuff. I love that. Stay connected, right? Shift and turn, let it go. Perfect. Shift and turn the body, squeeze it. Mm -hmm. So right away, there's separation from the lower body and the upper body. But that separation is actually very difficult for you to find a rationality in it. But in the long run, when you do it correctly, it can be very fast. Right? But understanding right now the yeah, tricky now part is <laughs> you you can't do it fast but if you do a, if you do do it fast guess what you're doing then you're exactly because if you do do it fast your instincts kicking over then it's all arms <laughs> then there's no lag <laughs> then then there's there's really nothing but you still make contact and the ball may still go somewhere but then you don't have that correct propelling energy that's going to propel the ball into a target that you intended Let's go off. <laughs> Slowly, good. Now a lot of times you are topping the ball it's because sometimes you are wheeling the ball in the air a little bit. Yeah. So on the next lesson, we're going to talk about, we kind of talked about a little bit, because remember I talked about how your arms are rotating? Yeah. But we're going to talk about that a little bit more on the next lesson, okay? Because right now you are scooping a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of like, try to wheel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But keep doing that. Yeah. The truth is, I don't mind you topping the ball, because when you're working on a golf swing, you do have to compartmentalize it. You can't let the result fool you, like, oh. Because I'm thinking about it, a lot of people can be here all day long, hit the ball real good, and go on a course. Not, yeah. not me, anything. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're good for today. We're good. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. So now you, you have any question? You understand what we're dealing with so far? I think so. I, okay. Again, for me, it's the making the transition from an upper body swing to a lower body swing. Correct. So. Well, basically, from the difference between what I call the contact motion, yeah. a hitting motion, yeah. then a golf swing. Golf swing. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Very good.